coming down from O'Haber Lake. GoPro portrays this very well, but the colors on October 1st are stunning this year. And yes, those are my rusty brakes from sitting so long. The road up here isn't the greatest, of course, because everybody has to bring their mobile home with them. And the big old dually trucks, diesel trucks, it's absolutely ridiculous. And you hear him powering up in the middle of the night, trying to get up the hill. It was absolutely crazy. Last night, as it seemed like four Winnebago's. Sorry, not Winnebago's, but, uh, you know, trailers. <laughs> Large trailers. About the size of, I don't know, a mobile home. <laughs> Drove up the hill with exhaust brakes, a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't know, it's just ridiculous. Kind of spoiled the mood. But this road out oh, is not that bad. First now you're like, oh, where do I go? Oh no, I wouldn't go. Oh no, I shouldn't go. <laughs> Got the heater on. The uh, rear window is still fogged over. There was actually frost this morning. And yeah, that was no fun. Of course, I turned on the little buddy, Mr. Buddy heater. And that caused a bunch of condensation. And when I mean a bunch, I mean every single window is fogged over with about a San Francisco Bay area of condensation. Well, that's another one of the big old trucks. At least he's not pulling something with him. I think that's kind of funny how people are just racing up the hill like the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. Just to hurry up, get set up, and just stand there. The greatest event of Lake O'Haver and staying at Site 12 was all the interesting people that you meet, and then particularly the people that decided to walk directly through the campsite. That's right, the campsite, in between two picnic tables, a foot from my car, and I'm like, who does this? Oh yeah, I forgot. Idiots that moved here from California and Texas. They're just staring at their freaking toes, not paying attention. We're just following the trail. Yeah, a trail right into my campsite. And, you know, just understand that Colorado is a make my day law state. And since you rent a site from the government, you're technically a res residing and that is your place of residence for the evening during operational hours of one o'clock all the way to noon when you check out the next day. Be that as it may, or with those being the facts, if you walk just lollygagging into somebody's campsite unannounced and walk right up to them, you can be shot legally. And don't give me the, oh, it's illegal to discharge a firearm in the Forest Service. But I tell you what, if a fucking bear was walking into your camp or a moose was three feet from you, you'd probably shoot it too. Which would you rather have? I have no idea what these people's intentions were when they were uh, walking into the camp. All I know is they're pretty freaking clueless. I will say one thing that the gal did say, sorry, but she proceeded to walk 
through my camp rather than stop and go around after realizing it was a damn campsite. Ugh. I'm getting too old for this shit anymore. Anyway, that was Lake O'Haver. I hope everybody enjoyed my short little video here of five minutes. And I'm going to hightail it out here. Take care, y'all. See you down the road.